All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a vlog. It's Saturday morning, January 29th, and it's four degrees outside right now. Wind chill, negative eight. But I've been on the treadmill all week and I want to get out on some trails. I've got some new shoes on, which I'll show you in a minute. La Sportiva Caracol, Caracol, Caracal. I don't know how, how are you supposed to say that? Yeah, I've had these shoes uh, in the box for a couple months. I got them like last fall and I just haven't, tried them out. This is my first run in them, so I'm pretty excited about it. There's a bunch of snow on the trails right now, and it's all frozen and packed down, so this is going to be a good test for these shoes because it's going to be a little slippery out there. Also want to talk to you guys about something that kind of, something kind of crazy that happened to me on the internet this week. If you follow my Twitter, you would have noticed that I posted kind of a joke tweet about watching a bunch of running videos on the treadmill and almost signing up for Cocodona 250. And then that tweet just like blew up. On Twitter it said that I have like over 50,000 impressions. So 50,000 people saw my tweet. Uh, Jamil retweeted it. He said, who wants to see this? That tweet got a lot of likes and retweets, um, but that's just a major, major commitment. I mean, take, it take like five days to actually do the race. And then just to like get there, $3,000, like, cause the race fee itself is 1500 bucks. And then you've got uh, like flights. So like a thousand probably uh, a hotel on either side, renting a car. I mean, you're easily looking at like 3000 bucks to run a race like this. My day job, like I can take vacation, but my actual like uh, side business, I lose money when I'm not working. So that makes any time I do a race even more expensive. Uh, so, cause I'm losing out on money that I would be making if I was working on the weekends. Uh, so yeah, it ends up, I mean, it probably cost me like about like four grand to do this race. I don't know, of course I want to, but the money uh, investment is just like insane. To do a 200 miler, like, or 250 miler, like it's, it's a big commitment and there's really no way around it, right? I mean, the race fee isn't even like the biggest part of it. It's the flights, hotels, car rentals. And then for me, like losing out on that money that my business would be bringing in. If anybody wants to, if there's any sponsors out there, can I use shoe companies, clothing companies? Um, let's do it. Like get a hold of me. Let's go to Coca Dona 250. I don't have the money to do it, uh, but maybe you do. <laughs> Uh, we could work out something really cool. Anyway, I gotta get running because I'm sitting in the car freezing right now. Probably just gonna be like an old fashioned like vlog. Uh, I was thinking about doing like a winter running gear video. So maybe I'll kind of talk about that as we go. Let's do it. Oh my God, just freezing. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cold. Start it up. I'm like, I can barely see because my eyes are watering so bad right now. Standing on ice right now. This is kind of creepy. 
In Indiana, you don't normally have uh, weather so cold that you can stand on ice, but it's been really cold for a long time. <laughs> but I'm gonna get off of this because I don't want to ruin my run by falling through the ice and getting wet feet because yeah, I'd definitely be going home if that happened. <clears throat> you can see like somebody took some bikes across the pond. <clears throat> All right, back to the trails. So I'm back in the car and I'm driving home now. Uh, I kind of had a fail with my lav mic. I went out to go record a little bit, uh, a little segment uh, about winter running clothes and the battery on my lav died. So that was awesome. But anyway, seven miles today. Uh, pretty good, felt pretty good. Uh, these La Sportiva Caracal uh, were pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm saying that wrong because I want to get it right in the actual review uh, but yeah good run seven miles uh, a little over an hour uh, it's freaking cold man like oh my gosh whoo yeah one degree with negative eight wind chill that's pretty cold um, but uh, got it done I wasn't trying to do any like big miles or anything today. I've got like we've got basketball uh, today for the kids. So just a short period of time this morning that I had able to run, um, but I feel good about it. And yeah, I'm bouncing back from being sick last week. So this week I think I've got as of right now I think I've got like 33 miles. So tomorrow I should hit probably around like 40 or so uh, for the week. So that'll be good good solid week to bounce back but yeah last thing if you guys missed my most recent video about uh, the new merch drop uh, go ahead and check that out at the link in the description I would be super happy if you uh, were able to support me in that way with a wallpaper t-shirt sweatshirt hat something like that also so I just went to pick up my water bottle and the whole thing is frozen <laughs> it's like crunching ice right now <laughs> oh my gosh I get a little water out <laughs> 